Hello, everybody. Welcome along to Thursday's House of Games. Very special week. It is a Champions Week for former winners. Joining me one more time. They've got silver trophies, but one of them is going to win a golden trophy. Shall we meet our players one more time? They are Lucy Porter. Yes. Jay McGuinness. Jan Ravens. And Nihal Alphanayaka. Hello, everybody. Lucy, two wins out of three now, one Monday and Wednesday. Oh, I mean, cycle helmet, toilet brush, it's been quite the week. Cycle helmet, toilet brush, <laughs> come on. What a time we're having. What else does anyone need in What health? else do you need? Jay, I'm going to show you the weekly leaderboard. At the moment, you are bottom of it, but I've seen your skills before and I've seen you come back from behind as well mm. against Bobby Seagull. But it's not, it's not that much to catch up, but today would be a good day to win, right? Yeah, it would be lovely. It could be far worse. It could be an awful lot worse. And we have double points Friday to come as well. Jan, a win for you already. And just two points off that lead. Are you starting to think about the trophy? Yeah, well, obviously, it's, all, it's always on my mind. <laughs> yeah, for, forever, right? Yeah, it's yeah. It's just nice to be able to get here, finally, be able to do something about it, because you spent the whole day just pacing up and down. <laughs> Saying trophy, no, trophy, uh, I, trophy. I, I'm just like they used to say on watercolour challenge, you know, I'm just here to enjoy the day. There you go. <laughs> no one's enjoying the day. No one enjoys it. Nihal, um, some yeah. more golden prizes. It'd be lovely to give you a prize this week. Yeah. yeah. Um, how about one of these? What have we got today? Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. There oh, is the oh, dressing gown, God. the sliders, the scented candle, the sparkling wine, and the golden dartboard. Nihal, what do you fancy? Well, I already have a Dartboards. Yeah, but one of the rubbish loser no, blue the blue dartboards. One. <laughs> yeah, OK, I get it. But I'm just thinking, you know, I've been with my wife for 20 years, maybe a little bit of spice needs to be put back into that relationship. Yeah. So uh, maybe so the... What? Maybe <laughs> the maybe, I mean, any of those, right? I mean, let's be honest, any of those are going to put spice back into my marriage. Um, <laughs> but I think the gown, I think the gown, particularly oh, if I... the gown. If I, gown. Yeah, I mean, like, the if I of... just shimmied into the bedroom yeah. with that on, mm. I think... I can see that. I think especially, she especially would be repulsed. the wig on but, as well, I think. <laughs> yeah, maybe the wig and the glasses. Uh, Jan, what would you go for? <laughs> Um, I think I might go for the scented candle. Yeah, I mean, why not? Is it? Is it? A, of course, we don't know what scent it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and listen, and also, you, you're not allowed to set it alight, so we'll never find out. It is. Oh. Um, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, for um, health and safety reasons, <laughs> it's um, it's been recalled by the manufacturers, but um, <laughs> no one's okay. ordered one yet. So, uh, Jay, what do you go for? I think I would go for the dressing gown. Yeah, dressing gown. Looks... Gotta be. Gotta be. Lucy. I think, the, just to see if the candle smells of you, Richard, I would... Uh... You go for the candle. OK, wow. listen. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> slightest smell of me, I'll say that. <laughs> whether, the, uh, whether the candle does. Um, shall we play Thursday's House of Games? Let's yeah. do it. Our first round today is... <laughs> Wetter slap. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to show you a category. Your first category today is musical instruments. What I'm going to do now is show you a pair of words. They're both musical instruments, but we've swapped one letter from one to the other. So you just have to tell us what the two musical instruments are, please. So what are these two? French corn and hornet. Yes, Nihal. French horn and cornet? Yeah. People often say that in the way of... Sorry, is this all you're asking me to do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's kind of what it's like. Is there a trick to this? Next two. Gang and boss. Yes, Jay. Gong and bass. Finally, a Ooh, professional musician yeah. enters nice. the room. That's what the O and the A. So sometimes they're harder, you see. Mm, yeah. That is hard. Next two. Bingo and pan popes. Yes, that is Lucy. Bongo and pan pipes. Bongo and pan pipes? <laughs> Absolutely. It sounds like a double act who won the Perrier award in sort of 1987. <laughs> it does. With bongo and pan pipes. Oh, the clowning joy, yeah. bongo and pan pipes. Next category. Fruit. Fruit. But which fruits? Late and demon. Yes, Nihal. So if you Day buzz in... Lemon. All yeah. this week, if you buzz in, I'm going to ask for an answer immediately. You're all too good. Thank Sorry. You. Yes, Jay. Date and lemon. Date and lemon we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Swap the D and the L around. Uh, next two. Peace and graph. Yes, Jan. 
Peach and grape. Peach and grape. Well oh, done. That was a tricky one. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Next two. Big and gooseberry. Yes, that's Nihar. Fig and gooseberry. Fig and gooseberry. Well done. I like the idea of a gooseberry. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. I mean, <laughs> respectfully to the geese, of all the animals, they don't need a ferry. Yeah. Like, they can swim. Yeah. What's, oh, hold on. There's, in my head, I'm thinking there's a real thing that's a goose ferry, and we literally just made it up. And I'm getting, like, <laughs> you're getting, you're getting it up about the yeah. fact that there's, there's lazy geese yeah. like, expecting me to pay yeah. my taxes to ferry them across a river. Yeah. Oi, goose. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Your next category is landmarks. Which landmarks have we swapped letters in here? Towel of London and Anger of the North. Yes, that is Lucy. Tower of London and Angel of the North. Again, I say some of them are easier than others. <laughs> yeah, the L and the R. Tower of London and Anger of the North becomes Tower of London, Angel of the North. Next two. Dummer Bridge and Hover Castle. Yes, Lucy. Humber Bridge and Dover Castle. Humber Bridge and Dover Castle. <laughs> Absolutely right. Dumb and Humber. Humber and Dover. Last two. Brooklyn Fridge and Niagara Balls. <laughs> yes, Nihal. Brooklyn Bridge, Niagara Falls. Yes, Brooklyn yeah. Fridge and Niagara Balls. That's the end of our first round. Everybody off the mark in that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboards. Lucy has won twice this week. Jan has won once. And this is how we stand at the moment. Jan with one, Jay with two, Nihal and Lucy, joint leaders with three. It's mm -hmm. right, you take that, wouldn't you? That's yeah. okay. Everyone off the mark, nice and gentle. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little pairs game ahead of us, shall we? Let's. Yeah. Our pairs game is all in the details. Now, Jan, you are currently fourth. Mm. Who would you like to play this round with? Well, I haven't played with Jay yet, so I'd like to play with Jay, please. Oh, that's nice. So, Jay and Nihal, will you swap seats, please? Jay and Jan are a team. Nihal and Lucy are a team. Hello, Lucy. Together at last. Okay. Let's What's do this. It? Thank you for going with the lame yeah. duck. No, no. Welcome down to the, the south end of the studio. Now, before the show, you all filled in some clues. Something to do with the world of entertainment. Lucy, before the show, Nihal filled in some clues, which, if you decipher them correctly, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing you guys have done good clues, because you're very, very smart. You ruin a lot of these rounds uh, <laughs> to a character from entertainment. And Nihal has had up to three words to fill in some clues. Which character is this? He is voiced by, according to Nihal, someone quite famous. <laughs> good, I, good, yeah, that's helpful. Yeah. Yeah. I take it back. Yeah, I take yeah. it back. You might yeah, be able to this you, round. You're going to guess this? Oh, I mean, no, I mean, you're not going to get it from that? To be honest, I what, just, let's just, just for the people now. at home. Yeah, keep, yeah. For yeah, the yeah. people at home, we'll just give you the others. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all <laughs> think we all got it. Yeah. yeah. Um, next clue. He works in, according to Nihal, construction. Mm hmm. And he has achieved, according to Nihal, <laughs> animated construction <laughs> prowess. Uh, OK. Um, I'm going to say Bob the Builder. Is it Bob the it's Builder? the most famous builder, I know. It absolutely is. Very well done. Nice clues. Nihal, voiced by Neil Morrissey. Oh, is that right? Yeah. One of a few people who've done it, apparently. Oh, uh, really? Yes, apparently he's not the only one who's done it. Ah. Lee Ingleby, someone just told yeah. me in my ear as well. He works in construction. <laughs> I mean, he really does, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, the clue's in the name. <laughs> uh, and he's achieved all sorts of things. Two number one singles for a start. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, how about that? Jan, before yes. the show, Jay filled in some clues that should lead you to a musical. A musical. But which musical, I wonder? The music and lyrics were written by, according to Jay, Songwriters. Yeah. Again, thank you, Jay. Kicking that's, yourself that's now. Huh? Very much a Nihal first answer. Yeah. <laughs> Can we buzz in now? Yeah. <laughs> Your next clue. Its film adaptation came out, according to Jay, so recently. Emphatically. This had better be one. a good final clue, Jay. <laughs> the main character, according to Jay, magical bookish girl. The main character is a magical bookish girl. A I young... think if you lean into that one, I you'll think, have a better chance. I yes. think maybe, Jay, your, your work is done already. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you think at home? Any clues on this? A magical bookish girl. I've absolutely no idea. Should we time you out? Yeah, time me out. 
We don't pass this across, but if, if you had to have a guess... Matilda? I was thinking maybe Matilda. Oh. Is it Matilda, Jay? It's Matilda. But Matilda <laughs> was the answer. So, well done if you so got that at home. stupid! Music and lyrics written by Tim Minchin. Dennis Kelly wrote the book. Film adaptation came out 2022 yeah. and so recently. Yeah, good so answer. Recently. Uh, and the main character, she reads a lot and she has magic powers and she's a girl. Oh, uh, so those are I good, they're am good clues. kicking myself. Yeah, I know, but it's not, if, it, if it's not immediately there, mm -hmm. it's yeah. one, of those, uh, one of those, but very, very good clues, uh, I would say. Jay, oh. unlucky. Nihal, before the show, Lucy filled in some clues mm -hmm. that will lead you to a film. A film. Which film is this, please? It was released in, according to Lucy, the late 90s. <laughs> okay. Yes. First of all. Yeah. Mm. It's set in, according to Lucy, a prison, no question mark there. Okay. I think she's fairly sure it's a prison. Right. Mm -hmm. And your final clue is characters include, according to Lucy, Andy, Big Red? <laughs> right. It's Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. 100% is Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> Very well done. Couldn't miss it, could you? Released in 94. Oh, not late 90s. Oh, we're older than we think, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember seeing question. it in the cinema at the time, thinking, this is good, and then ever since it's become, like, everyone's favourite movie yeah. of all time, yeah. isn't it? Andy Dufresne, and he's just called Red, but he's... Yes. Uh, listen, he's not, he's not small. He's not small, so uh, that helps, uh, And it is set in a prison. Jay, before the show... Jan filled in some clues, which will lead you, I'm absolutely certain, to a TV programme. But which TV programme? It was first broadcast in, according to Jan, 12 years ago? <laughs> it takes place in, according to Jan, the White House. It popularised the shooting technique, according to Jan, Walking along corridors. <laughs> yes. That famous shooting technique. <laughs> what are we thinking, Jay? OK, I, I, there's one or two that have quite similar, but I think I know this one. And I would take an educated guess that it's uh, House of Cards. Is it House of Cards? It is not House Dang of it. Cards. The other one. The other one. It is not. What do we think it is? The West Wing. The West, West Wing, Wing. then, by, by a process of elimination. It is West Wing. Yeah, West Wing. The unlucky, perfectly good guess. It was first broadcast in 1999, so nearly 25 years ago. That might have been, uh, that might have been some of the... Uh, I mean, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's and really that's bad. Not, I don't mean it's bad that you wrote it. I mean, it's bad that... No. Again, that's that long ago. Mm. It does take place in the White House, yeah, and the shooting technique, they call it, yeah, walk and talk. That's the end of that round, then. So, Jay and Nihal, if you will swap back, please. It's been lovely seeing you, Nihal. Thank you. I will wave from a distance from here on in. <laughs> Welcome back, Jay. Thank you. Unlucky there. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Jan with one, Jay with two. Joint leaders, Lucy and Nihal, five points each. Ooh! Oh, yeah. about that? Is Lucy going to win her third show? Is Nihal going to win his first? Our third round today is... When, when they're singing. Everyone at home, get your stopwatches ready. Oh, you know how this God. works. Oh, terrible at this. Oh, you're all terrible at it. Oh, mm -hmm. oh that'll be fun. <laughs> um, in this round, we play the beginning of a song. Just hear the start of an introduction. We will then fade it out, keep playing along with it in your head, and when you think the first word is sung in that song, press your buzzer. And whoever is closest to the first word will get themselves a point. Everyone ready in the studio? Everyone ready at home? Let's do the first one. So start your stopwatches now. Everyone in. Was that essentially Jay pressing it and everyone just pressing it straight afterwards? Yep. See the power you wield, mm. Jay, in this I mean, round. The power has not been landing in the right spot, so you guys yeah. be careful. <laughs> um, what have you got on your stopwatches at home? So the song was Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now, Starship, classic. Um, and your timings look like this. Jay in 11.82 and then everybody else fairly soon afterwards. Shall we have a little listen, see who's closest? Yeah. Who's won the first point of the round? I thought it was going to be Down Under by Men at Work at yeah. the beginning. Is this where we're coming in? Oh, oh it is no, not. It's one of those. 
twice in a row. That's oh, very wow, good news really for Lucy. Good. I know. <laughs> 22.16 seconds. Well done at home if you got close to that. Lucy gets herself a point. Well, wow. undeserved. What we like to call a stolen point. It's an absolute theft. Should we do another one? Yeah. Everybody at home, start your stopwatches now. Jean Jeannie, David Bowie, let's take a look at your timings. Lucy went first, Jay went last. What do you think at home? What have you got on your stopwatch here? Shall we have a little listen? See who scored the second point. <laughs> Going past Lucy. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's extraordinary. Jan, I'm going to give you two points for that. You are oh, one hundredth of a second off. Very well played. That's strong. That's very strong. Um, listen, if you beat Jan at home, congratulations. That's very, very impressive. Final question in this round. Should we need one more? Everybody at home, start your stopwatches now. I'm in a tiny bit after all of you there. Only Ooh. a tiny bit. Only a tiny bit. Travis, why does it always rain on me? Let's take a look at your timings. We're all very close, all within a second of each other there. 17 up to 18. What do you reckon at home on this one? What have you got on your stopwatch? Let's take a listen, shall we? See who scored the final point of the round. I didn't know I what didn't it was when it started. Like this. No, me either. It sounds like the flake advert or something. Yeah. Business territory now. Oh, jeez. Uh -huh. Another uh -oh. one. <laughs> yes. And go. Okay. There we go, 27 seconds. Uh, so Jan gets the final point in that round. Very well done if you held out on that song. I, maybe I didn't give you enough time, actually, there. I apologise if I didn't. Um, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Two rounds to go now on Thursday's House of Games. Champions Week. Four points between everybody now. Nice. Jay with two, Jan with four, Nihal with five, Lucy with six. That's lovely and close, isn't it? With two yeah. rounds to go. Nice. Everybody's still in it. Is Nihal going on his first one of the week? Jay still just a few points off the lead as well. Mm, let's find out, shall we? Round four today is... <laughs> the nice round. Lucy, we start with you. In this round, you have got to guess... The name of a play. Your opponents will each take out their tablets. They will see the name of that play and they will write you down a one-word clue. <laughs> so you'll have three words to help you out. Um, you'll score a point if you get it right. It's the nice round because whoever helps you out the most, you will give a point to. Yeah, I can't okay. wait. <laughs> OK, everyone in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucy, you've got to guess the name of a play. You've got play. three words to help you. Jay, the first word is? First word is pig. Pig is the first word. Jan? Elocution. Elocution. Pig, elocution. OK. Uh, Nihal? Snobbery. Snobbery. Pig, elocution, snobbery. Yeah. Thoughts? They're all excellent clues, I think, if I'm correct, to Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. Oh, Pygmalion. It is Pygmalion. Very well done. Yeah. You can tell you're on a Champions Week when someone says, is it Pygmalion by George Bernard? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do we think? You've got to give away a point to somebody. They're all very good. I would say probably elocution is my... I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it has to be. Yeah. Uh, so Jan gets a point as well. Very well done, Jan. Thank you, Lucy. Uh, you Jay, know you now have to guess the name of a play. You'll have three words to help you. OK, everyone is in. Jay, you've got to guess the name of a play. Mm -hmm. You'll have three words to help you. Jan, the first word is? Witches. Witches. Nihal, your word? 
the same word. Which <gasps> is? And which, Lucy? Oh, superstition. Superstition. Which is which is superstition? What do we think? Oh, I'm going to go with the crucible. Is it the crucible? There's not really? the crucible. Such Sorry. a sensible Let guess. Let me have a little... Don't yeah, that's, like a, a per, that's the perfect Oh, guess. is yeah. it like Shakespeare? Which yeah. is... Bubble, which is bubble, bubble, toilet, oh, bubble. which is the Macbeth? Macbeth. Yes. Ah, Macbeth, or oh, the superstition that you're not supposed to but, say Macbeth. I know, but that was only really going to work if there were better clues. <laughs> that was hard, I think, to do clues for. Yeah. And respectfully to all of you, very hard to guess from the clues that uh, we were given. But mm. Macbeth oh. was the answer. Well done if you said that at home. Unlucky Jay, so you don't have a point to give away. Jan, uh, yes. a play now. You have to guess. You'll have three words to help you. What will those words be and what will the play be? OK, everyone is in. Jan, you've got to guess the name of a play. You'll have three mm. words to help you. Nihal, the first word. I've gone with classroom. Classroom. Lucy, what's your word? In a similar vein, teaching. Teaching. And Jay? Education. Education. Those are the same clue, I <laughs> <laughs> uh, What do we think, Jan? And also, good luck giving away a bonus point. Well, when I saw education, I was thinking educating Rita. But I can't think of a, a place that take place in a classroom. Oh, OK. I thought of one. The History Boys. <gasps> is it the History Boys? <laughs> it is the History well, Boys. Oh, very well wow. played. <laughs> Pulled that out of a very vague group of clues. <laughs> wow. Very good. Um, what do we think there? I think I'll give a point to Nihal. Because that couldn't have been educating Rita. Yeah. yeah. And the other two maybe could have been. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds very reasonable. Nihal, you've got a play to guess. You'll have three words to help you, all written by your competitors. Nihal, you've got to guess a play. <sighs> you've got three words to help you out. Your first word is... Tram. Tram, OK. Jay. We have tram. Oh. Tram. <gasps> and Jan? Vest. Tram, tram and vest are your answers. Oh, gosh, you've just got to guess something, haven't you? Otherwise, you look like you don't know anything about plays. Which would <laughs> be true. <laughs> That's the last thing we want, isn't it? <laughs> you look like we know nothing about plays. <laughs> um, I, I mean, genuinely, from a tram, tram and a vest... Should we time you out? Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, I can't think okay, of anything. Any clues at home? Can I have a guess? Yeah. Based mainly on the tram, although I see where you're going with vest, but only because of tram. Streetcar name desire? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. Streetcar named Desire. Name. Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams, right. Yeah. Okay. He was the most famous Tennessee Williams until Serena and Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Streetcar named Desire, well done. If you said that at home, tablets away, please, everybody. Oh. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we, before our final round? Close stuff. Jay, you have two. Jan and Nihal with six. Lucy has got seven. Oh, anything could happen. Oh, anything could that happen. is close. Okay. That is oh. close. Shall we do it? Wow. Our final round <laughs> is. Answer Smash. Did you say you haven't got a single Answer Smash this week, Nihal? Is that what uh, you were not saying? Not one. There? Whoa. It's terrible. Fingers crossed. Oh. Here we go. Fingers on buzzers, please, everyone. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. Your first category is puppets. Which Brazilian footballer who shares his first name with Wilma's husband in the Flintstones was signed by Manchester United in 2018? Yes, Nihar. Ronald Donald Duck. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Nihar. But listen, you buzzed in. I know. You lose a point, I'm afraid. Sorry. Oh, he's not Brazilian, he's Portuguese, isn't he, Ronaldo? Yeah. So I've got that, all of that wrong. And, and that's not Donald Duck. No, yeah. I just saw Duck. Apart from I that, I, th that I is, thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, shall I tell you? Yeah. yeah. We're looking for Fred the Duck. Oh. Fred, we were looking uh, for, and Ed oh. the Duck. I got that Fred totally wrong. the yeah. Duck. <laughs> I know, but at least you're in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost a point. Brilliant. You did. Yeah. <laughs> the only time I, was, I lost yeah. a point. But at least, Jeez. listen, for once your score has changed. That's very good, that's very good. Next one. Which plant, known as ponga in the Maori language, is a symbol of New Zealand and takes its English name from the colour of its fronds? Yes, Lucy. Oh, gosh, green ferny. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Jan. Tree ferny? Tree ferny? It's incorrect, I'm afraid. 
Oh. <laughs> Nihal's going, I'm going absolutely nowhere near this one. nowhere. Let's take a look, shall we? I don't know what the colour thing is. Silver, silver fern. fern. Yeah, of course fern it's silver I fern. I just thought it would of just be fern. Of course it is. Silver oh. ferny. Well done if you said that at home. Next one. Who had a UK number two hit with the song Mickey in 1982? Yes, that is Lucy. Tony Basil Brush. Tony Basil Brush. <laughs> it is Tony Basil Basil Brush. Tony Basil Brush. Next category. Kitchenware will be the pictures. Which 1978 UK top ten hit for Boney M is named after the Russian mystic who befriended the imperial family in the early 1900s? Yes, Lucy. Rasputin opener. Rasputin opener. Very good. It is Rasputin tin opener. Rasputin opener. Next one. Which author wrote the books in Cold Blood and Breakfast at Tiffany's? Yes, that is Jan. Truman Capote strainer. <laughs> Truman Capote strainer. <laughs> it is Truman Capote and tea strainer. <laughs> Truman Capote strainer. Nice. Next clue. Next picture. Which song was the first UK number one single by the police? Jay. Englishman in New York script. <laughs> it, it, it is not Englishman in New York script. I'm so sorry. Nice try, though. Yes, that is Lucy. Message in a bottle opener. Message in a bottle opener. Oh. That is what it is. Message in a bottle, bottle opener. Message in a bottle opener. Any more for any more? Oh, oh and oh, she's done it. She's done again. it again, I wonder. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Lucy's won two, Jan's won one. Who's won today? Lucy Porter has won once again. Well played, Lucy. Third win of the week. My familiarity with a corkscrew nice. has <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. finally paid off. <laughs> um, Lucy, which prize would you like? Well, I mean, I mean, you said scented candle, I did say but scented now candle. I mean, clearly listen. that was foolishness because exactly. I'm thinking not that my marriage needs any more spice. It's oh my so God, it's, spicy. It's, it's all spice, it's, pretty much, it, isn't it? Yeah. It's peri peri. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but I think the dressing gown is the lovely. That's the one to go for, Lucy Porter wins the House of Games dressing gown. Well played, Lucy. One day to go. Double points Friday tomorrow. There's eight points for a win, six for second, four for third, and so on. And the leaderboard going into it looks like this. Jay with six, Nihal with nine, Jan with 12, three-point lead, Lucy with 15. Wow. Ooh, she can be caught with the quality quizzer we have here, but it's a nice lead to have. Shall we all come back for the final tomorrow? Yeah. Look forward to seeing you here. We look forward to seeing you here for the final on the House of Games. Very much. <laughs> oh, she's working it. She's working it. <laughs> <laughs> there.